clamp, claw, clamp, claw, and it pops into place. Okay? So you're pulling it at this point, not here. You're not projecting the force when you clean it. If you're doing swings here, and then you try cleaning it with the same amount of force, you're gonna get this ugly whip around effect or hitting you up on the shoulder way high and generating all this extra, using up all this extra energy that you don't need. So what we wanna do is get that low swing and then redirect the low swing up relatively as straight as you go. So the way we do that is we swing it low and then we do a low pull. So you're here, low swing, low pull, low swing, low pull, low swing, low pull. So you're just pulling it a little bit with your trap, a little bit of bend in the arm, and you're just redirecting the force this way. And then when you open up your hand, it lands right in the correct spot. It's not gonna be flipping way up high and then come banging down on you. But you gotta detune the power from all the kind of swings you've been doing to do the snatch, where you have to project the power up to here and then redirect it and snatch it. Well, you only need to, in a sense, project power to here to clean it. Does that make sense? By pulling it back, and it should pop right in the spot. Does that feel a little better? Yep. Yeah. Was it? I was thinking two hat trying to keep the. Yeah. That was hard because I got that shoulder explosion. and your legs, so all that comes to play depending on your bio. I mean, the two of you, you're probably not going to do the same. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what we're here. We're not saying one technique is better than the other. We're giving you a whole bunch of different techniques and helping you find the one that works best for you. From here to here, it's the boulders rolling down the mountain. You want to just let that roll down your shoulders till it gets to here. When it gets to here, the, the, the phrase I came up with was, you're catching a water balloon. Imagine your hands are like this. So to do it for, for our reason, you need one. Your, your hands are like at a 45-ish angle. Now you're going to catch that water balloon. What happens is you break at the knee, you come back, you absorb. Okay? So you soften here. Let it amortize it, let it come back. Then you do the clean, you bring it up. But boulders rolling down the mountain until you get your forearm relatively horizontal. And then when you, when you absorb the force, you're not absorbing it this way. So you take it on your back. You absorb it, break it the knee a little bit. Now, I'm taking the force right here, not out here. How many people want, do you want to hold the kettlebell here? Right? You see what I mean? You want to take it right here. If I'm absorbing it. That's where the biggest absorption is, is straight down. Don't try to absorb it prematurely hanging out here, racking up your back. Pull you forward on this. Lean back. Feel that? Yeah. Does it feel like you're cheating? A Almost. <laughs> see? Oh, hump and dump. <laughs> mild, mild hump and dump. See? No, nope. he's a hump and dumper from way back. He's a hump and dumper from way back. So <laughs> you literally have to get the <laughs> Okay. Go. So I was letting it go when his arm is not even trying. Yeah. Is that what you're Yeah, yeah. Doing? Okay. Good. But I mean, you see what I mean? So you're not letting him come forward. Because if he comes forward, if I'm feeling his back, he's, his back is working. He's, he's already doing work, and he hasn't even got the full load yet. 
and yet he has all that load starting on his back. So keep that back. You start to drop it, boom. You flicked it from here now to here, okay? Now our forearm is relatively, I'm gonna take the weight, it's relatively here. Now, as it's kind of difficult, your whole body is gonna slightly shift down and you're gonna break a tiny bit at the knees to amortize it and then you're gonna catch the water balloon right here and go back down between you. Because you can't jar a water balloon, it explodes. So you have to break a little bit at the knee and let it transition through. You can't jar it. That's why start with a lighter weight. Trying to keep this. Yeah. 